little mission. Gonna hike over there. Can't quite see it at the moment. Rizutsu trick of the day. You get to cut your hike in half on the way to Shirabetsu by buying a three-point ticket. 1,500 yen. Like 12 bucks right now. Gets you this chair. Then you cut over a bit further and you catch a double chair. And then you get to hike that ridge right there and that ridge right there provides some real fucking good times just behind that ridge is Shirabetsu as well if it's real clear probably just gonna have to hike over the ridge and straight the fuck up Shirabetsu looks pretty good a lot of glide cracks this season the ground on that mountain it's obviously volcanic it's super fucking warm you'll be able to see bamboo and like green leaves in those glide cracks probably some dirt even probably find a good one to uh jump over we'll see short little chair here probably could have bought one extra point uh gotten a little bit more warmed up doesn't look like the run's too tracked up over here, but whatever. It'll be more fun to warm up right there on that cornice. Yeah. There's the ridge right there. Looking beautiful in this sunlight. Oh, yeah. Bambi. Cut through the trees hard over there. Catch one more chair, the double. Then cut over and we hike straight up that ridge. Double West Trigger up there, like right there. Better view of the cornice and all the glide cracks right now. We'll at least take it just past that corner that you can see right now. Maybe, uh, depending on the snow condition, Shirabetsu. But I'm also alone today, so might play it a little bit safe and just uh, drop that cornice. There's the 
Top nearly, nearly there. Time to start hiking. Top of the double. Stay as high as you possibly can. The lower you go, the more you have to walk. Got me. That's right. We can still make it. gonna unstrap here follow that trail I can see the rope right there easiest to hike the ridge <laughs> oh yeah that track's gonna help a ton don't have to fuck post hole in the deep snow we'll get some more footage uh, when we get a good view explain to me this how does a little bug like that live in the snow it's the beginning of february thing is just chilling in the fucking snow good luck little buddy i won't step on you Looks like we're gonna get lucky. Have a little bit of sun. <clears throat> we know you're uh, on the right track when you get to these warning signs. Everybody knows the good stuff is behind the orange ropes, but take it with a grain of salt. It's also where things get really sketchy. So make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Backcountry skiing and snowboarding is, what does that say, highly recommended? All right, word. Let's hit it. Doesn't look like anybody else has hiked it yet today, but definitely yesterday. Just a little bit of fresh snow over the trail. Should be a real easy staircase all the way up. Little walk through the trees here, maybe 200 meters. We'll bust out of the trees, more onto the ridge. We're actually on the ridge right now, but hard to tell at the trees. Such a different view than last year in Bulgaria. Something about the way the Japanese snow sticks to everything like crazy. Just look at the pillows everywhere. Whew. That sun's really cooking down though. It's pretty fucking warm. Got the jacket pulled most of the way off. Don't want to overheat while you're hiking. Start sweating. It's not a good thing. You do not want to be wet out here. I can still see the trail pretty good. It's pretty firm. Easy to walk. Thankfully... We don't have to post hole because nobody likes to post hole. That takes too much energy. Although I might have spoken too early. No, it looks like there's still a trail a little bit. We'll find something. We'll find some firm ground to walk on. Just through the trees here, you can see the backside 
of Shiribetsu Dake. There's some epic runs back there, but you have to be extremely cautious of avalanches in that area. That side of the mountain is super prone to sliding. I will definitely not be going back there alone today. You don't want to get caught in a, a slide alone. That's a good way to die. But this side, a little bit safer. Still need to take extreme precaution though. All right, as I'm starting to remember, every time I do this hike in the sun, I start to overheat real fast. I already got the jacket pulled most of the way down. But rather than start sweating, put myself in a sketchy situation. A wise man once told me, it's always better to operate on the cold side than to start to sweat and get wet. Again, you do not want to get wet of any sort. Sweat, water from a creek, whatever. Don't get wet. It's not good. That's the other mountain of Rizutsu. Some real good riding over there, but gets pretty tracked up pretty fast. This uh, this is not going to be tracked up at all. It's going to be some real nice fresh turns over here. But again, you have to be extremely cautious. Know where you're going. Know the snow conditions. Don't put yourself in a sketchy situation. All right, take the coat off. Just gonna tie it around the waist. Finish the hike just in the long sleeve in this thermal. Get that GoPro leash behind me. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, just about out of the trees. Looks like yesterday somebody did drop right here. A couple people. Can't really see their trail though. Gets super windy coming up over this ridge. Goes out that way. That's what builds the cornice. Covers up the trail, so. Doing a little bit of post holing, but luckily it's so windy. It blows away most of the fresh snow. Keeps it pretty firm right here. Yeah, nearly, uh, nearly up the ridge already. This first little shoot, pretty fun, real good time. But if you go just a little bit further, I definitely say there's some better stuff. And then if you go all the way across this ridge, you can then hike up the Sheriff Betsy Docky Ridge, which gives you one one real good dream run, but again, being alone today, I don't think I'll do that. Not worth the risk. Even if there's no chance of a slide, you don't want to get hurt and stuck because if nobody else hikes it or happens to ski down next to you or near you, you uh, you might have to hang out here until uh, springtime when you thaw out. That's no good. Right over there, Shirobetsu Dake is one of the uh, most fun faces to ride. Oh, I'm tripping. That's the back side. That's the really sketchy side. Right there is the front face. You can see from Rizutsu. But you can see that back side there, how sketchy it is. You can actually see where there's been slides all over it. Much more than just glide cracks. That side of Shiribetsu Dake actually does avalanche very, very, very often. I can see some tracks though. It looks like yesterday, maybe today even. Wow, yeah, maybe from today. That's a uh, pretty bold move. I don't know if I would venture onto that face right now. The snow is a bit prone to slumping. They had a uh, warm spell with a little bit of rain early in the season, and it made for a, a bit of a sketchy layer. But to each their own. Everybody be safe out there. Yeah, 
is a perfect example of a glide crack. So you can see from this point out, which is pretty far, two and a half meters, three meters right there, the whole cornice wants to crack and fall off. That's exactly why you do not walk out there. Keep it back in the tree line. You can see the textured area right here. The snow is really hard. It's all getting blown off. It's also not very deep. We're gonna pop out over here pretty soon. <coughs> That's the fast, easy way to the top, no doubt about it. costs like 1500 US thereabouts and I think that's supposedly for the day which they found a little place that a uh, cornice already sloughed off so it's a bit safer to walk out on and get a view of one of the potential drop zones there's a lot of glide crack stuff going on this season that's uh, definitely very interesting oh there's some amazing stuff though we got a little gap right there you could pop over another one down there you could jump over oh man it's gonna be a real good run we'll keep going a little bit further all right top of the ridge well not quite the top We'll venture over there just to have a scope out down that face that we can't quite see yet. But you can see right here, there is a buttload of glide crack stuff going on. Super beautiful. A little bit sketchy, but gorgeous. You can see where the wind comes up here, it creates this nice cornice at the top. And as it builds, just gets too heavy, breaks, falls down there. A lot of the times it doesn't even break. It just glide cracks, which means it's not even an avalanche really, it's just the ground itself is so warm that the snow actually slides on the ground. You can see at the bottom of that crack, there's, there's green plants, there's leaves on bamboo down there still. If you go down there, you can actually like smell warm earth. It's pretty, pretty fucking cool. I can only assume it's because this is a volcanic area. So yeah, there's a little bit of warmth going on down there, but gorgeous nonetheless. Some years you can actually drop here, ride down and then launch off of the glide cracks, but this season, I don't really see a good line for that. Maybe, maybe over here you could get tricky, get onto the glide crack and then jump off of it, but eh, not very good. This one actually looks kind of sick. Could pop down that little ridge, bonk onto that, but then you'd be hard pressed to make it over that. That's a lot steeper than it looks. It's hard to go uphill on a snowboard. It doesn't really work so good. Better downhill. Beautiful view though. Hopefully the sun comes back out here in a little bit. Should, uh, should be some pretty good uh, conditions for this run. Just push a little piece of the cornice off to try and see how the snow wants to slide. Didn't do terrible, but it's not quite steep enough right here for extreme danger. Try to break off some more. Pretty strong. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, just not quite steep enough right here. But didn't seem like it wanted to propagate or break at a lower level. So that's a very, very good sign. If you do that and it lands down there and then a deeper layer of snow sloughs off. And I mean, that, that's obvious. That's just avalanche, so big time no-no. If that were to happen at this point, I would honestly just walk right back over there, ride down this safe side of the ridge. No reason to uh, get into that sketchy stuff, but yeah, it looks like this is gonna be totally fine to drop. I do see a little tree feature over there I like to hit. I've done that a few, few seasons ago. A little dropper. But yeah, it's gonna be a, a real good ride. All right, here's what I'm talking about for that a little bit more open face. It's real hard to see without the sun anymore, but again, there is a buttload of glide cracks this season. That's gnarly. Have to try and pick a good line. You don't want to get obviously stuck in a glide crack in a dangerous way, but I also just don't want to stop my run to climb over one rather rather find a place to jump over it but yeah look at that it's just beautiful down there definitely a lot of fogs blown in now though so real hard to see hopefully uh it magically clears up before i drop because it's much nicer to have a bluebird run is a good example of why you should uh, never hike into an unknown area, at least unless you have a guide with you. Because yeah, when I started this hike, no more than an hour ago, it was sunny. You could see super good, real far, and now pure whiteout. Some directions you can see a uh, hundred yards, a little bit more but there's no depth perception. And then another directions, just down here onto the more open face. Can barely see anything. I have hiked this many, many, many times though, so I know exactly where I'm gonna go. It'll be easy enough to get out of here, no problem. But yeah, if this was your first hike on this ridge, it could get a little bit sketchy. You would not want to go far left by mistake end up stuck in the middle of nowhere having to walk your ass out all night but yeah we'll likely drop this way and cut to the right and uh yeah it'll be real real nice uh perfect riding curious what's just on the other side of that looks like the cornice here actually broke off from the ground slid down a little bit that's probably the edge of it right there might be able to pop off of that maybe could be fun Try to get a look at it from another angle though. Woo, cold as shit now. All right, got real stormy, real windy, super fast. I'm just gonna hunker down in the tree line here for a second, see if it passes, cause it'd be really nice to get a bluebird run. Probably not gonna happen though. It's another perfect example of, uh, like I was saying earlier, don't start to sweat, don't get wet. If I were wet right now, I'd be in a real sticky situation, but I had the jacket off, so I never overheated. Started to get windy, started to cloud up, put the jacket back on. Now I'm nice and toasty warm, just chilling. Trying to wait for that wind to stop. But it's only getting stronger, so might make a run for it. But it does seem like the sky is kind of getting light. Yeah, you can see the sun right there. Boom. Maybe, uh, I don't know, give it five minutes, see what happens. Give it a good 10 minutes. The sun definitely went away and it only got windier. So, uh, yeah. Gonna go ahead and uh, drop my line just over that way into the fog. Hopefully there's some decent stuff on the camera, but uh, it's probably gonna be pretty white. Uh, 
across to the other side of that ridge that goes down just over to the other side where you can see those trees poking up the wind will get blocked by this little ridge popped out there the teeniest little bit I feel like this is gonna be the best time to strap in try to uh, get some uh, turns in while we can see a little bit Didn't propagate, but definitely uh, has some slough to it. racetrack thing they got going on now. Oh, it's just beautiful. Unless I see some fun features. All tight. crack and I might try to go boost over that one
kind of took a knee to the face right there. Probably get a black eye. <sighs> Fucking A. Gotta love that run though. No blood out the nose. That's good. Fat lip coming. Probably shouldn't have done that last little stupid thing, but it was worth it. Short but sweet run. Ah, definitely knew the face wasn't that fun, but wasn't that bad either, I guess. There she is. There's the first little shoot, second little shoot, trees, and then that third shoot that we just did right there. No, Seiko Mart. Hot chef. There's gonna be some good shit in there. Got unigiri, little rice ball, bacon, bacon. Okay. Pink grapefruit. Yeah. 